Retargeting for lawyers, okay, why is retargeting, also known as remarketing, so important for lawyers, and what are the five steps to set up your retargeting for your law firm? So first things first, what is retargeting, in case you don't know? Well, some people call this, again, remarketing, um, but it's essentially when you follow people around online. I know it's creepy, but I'm sure it's happened to you shopping for shoes online and all of a sudden you're browsing the internet and you see ads for the same exact set of shoes that you were looking at uh, a day ago, even a couple days ago or a week ago or even a couple hours ago. So it's uh, the ability for you to follow your prospective clients around online, especially those that didn't become phone calls uh, or form submissions on your website or in your marketing plan. The bottom line is this, in today's day and age with how competitive things are, you cannot just depend on people going to your website and submitting their information the first time they become uh, familiar with or encounter your brand, your law firm's brand. There's too many law firms, it's too competitive, and uh, you are gonna do your firm a huge disservice in terms of case generation if you neglect retargeting or remarketing for your firm. So uh, why is this important? Uh, really, it allows you to uh, make the best use of all of your marketing dollars, okay? For example, if you're doing Google Ads or SEO, meaning you're promoting, you know, you're pushing out blog posts every month, you're running Google Ads to specific landing pages on your website or separate landing pages, doesn't matter. You will get the best out of your online marketing or any marketing, even if you're doing direct mail, and sending people to your website from the direct mail piece or a landing page, you need to use this data. The people who visit your website are interested in potentially hiring you, okay? At least the vast majority of them. The most important thing for you to wrap your head around here is bad months actually don't exist when you use retargeting the right way. For example, you could, spend $10,000 in a month. Uh, we've done it on our own campaigns um, and not see an ROI from that. And you could think, oh my God, that was a complete failure. You know, we, we completely, you know, uh, did terrible this month or whatever. Or you could look at, wow, I got $10,000 worth of ready to buy prospects, prospective clients for my firm that I'm now gonna follow around on the internet with Facebook ads or Google display ads, as an example, until they do become clients. Now, the awesome thing about retargeting is the cost to get in front of someone who's already interacted with your brand is much, much cheaper than getting in front of someone who doesn't know who you are. Um, another really important thing for you to understand is that look-alike audiences are growing exponentially in importance in online marketing for lawyers. So, like I said, even if you have a bad month, let's say you get $10,000 worth of traffic to your website and, and they're good searches, they're people actually interested in hiring a lawyer in your specialty area, then what you can do is you can take that $10,000 worth of data or 1,000 or whatever or months of data, $100,000 of data, and you can actually import, you can create look-alike audiences, okay, from that data, from the pixel that's on your landing pages, you can create look-alike audiences. So what is a look-alike audience? A look-alike audience is uh, essentially a way to get in front of people who behave similarly to those who clicked on your Google Ads or spent a lot of time reading your blog posts on your website. Why is this important? Well, it's really hard on Facebook and with display ads, any form of awareness ad, to get in front of bottom of funnel leads, okay? Bottom of funnel leads meaning people who are ready to hire a lawyer. On Facebook, it's really hard to do that unless you have look-alike audience data from your Google ad campaigns or your SEO blog post 
campaigns for your website. So it's very important to use the data you collect from retargeting in lookalike audiences. Now in Google Ads, you can now create something that's called a similar to, quote unquote, audience, which is the same thing as Facebook's version of a lookalike audience, okay? So you can use this data and get in front of people who are almost identical to those who are already clicking on your ads, interested in hiring a lawyer, and in your market, okay? So this is a huge ROI opportunity for your firm. Okay, next important factor here with retargeting is that you can automate your follow-up, okay? Follow-up is where all the money is made in marketing and essentially in business, even in sales, right? If you don't follow up with people, people are gonna forget about you. First, you have to generate a lead. Next, you have to stay at top of mind for that lead. And then you have to convert that lead into a paying client or customer. And you can automate your follow-up with retargeting ads, okay? Where you're staying top of mind with those people that visited your website but weren't ready to hire you, okay? Uh, The last two points I wanna make here is that retargeting traffic will spend more time on your website, okay? People who have already interacted with your brand who then decide to click on your retargeting ad, again, that's following them around on the internet, they're more likely to spend more time on your website. And what happens is Google looks at the bounce rate of your website, which is essentially how long are people staying on your website before they bounce, before they leave, right? So your bounce rate will decline, which means people are spending more time on your website if you use retargeting traffic and direct that traffic back to your website. Okay, and then the last point I wanna make is that retargeting reduces your cost per lead, okay? Let's say you're spending $300 per quality lead through your Google ad campaign, right? Or you've calculated it in your SEO that you spend X dollars per month and you get X leads per month from your website, whatever. Retargeting allows you to reduce your cost per lead over time because you're gonna pull in additional leads through staying top of mind with people who weren't ready to hire you or call you and you're able to stay in front of these people for pennies on the dollar, okay? So retargeting will decrease your cost per lead. Keep that in mind. So now let's quickly go through the five steps to set up your retargeting. The first step is obviously to collect the retargeting data or remarketing data. Now this is very simple. You need, uh, I should say two or three pixels. You need, you need three things on all of your pages on your website. Number one's a Facebook pixel. Number two is a global site tag, which is a Google tag essentially. And uh, number three is an analytics tag. Um, So you need those three things on all of your pages on your website. That will allow you to track audience data from the people who visit your website to be reused on Facebook, Google Display Network, and to track data in Google Analytics. So those are three musts. You need to first collect the data before anything else happens, okay? Next is you have to create value add relevant ads. So what do I mean by that? Okay. Facebook is going to be where the majority of your leads come in through retargeting as a lawyer. So if that's the case, the majority of your focus needs to be on pushing retargeting ads that offer value to your audience. You can't just ask for a free consultation again, because obviously that didn't work when they visited your website. Okay. So you need to give them something valuable. And the best way to do that is to take a valuable blog post that's relevant to what they're interested in and show them that blog post through a Facebook ad so that if they're still interested, they will click on that blog post ad to read a little bit more and boom, they're back on your website and then they're gonna see different call to actions like the free consultation and things like that. So create relevant value add ads after you've collected the data. The next one is this is a huge mistake people make, is to implement frequency capping. Okay, what's frequency capping? Frequency capping means that you cap 
the frequency, the number of times that people, individual people on your remarketing list are able to see your ads on Facebook or Google. Why is this important? You don't want people to see your ads 400 times, okay? Why? Because they start tuning it out. If they see the same ad even over eight to 10 times, the same exact ad, and they actually got a real impression from that, they actually saw the ad and absorbed it, they're gonna start tuning it out. They're gonna start rolling their eyes to what ad is showing up in their Facebook feed as an example. And that's gonna have an adverse effect on your brand. You're gonna feel like, they're gonna feel like you're pestering them versus helping them, right? So implement frequency capping. And then an interesting method you can use here is you could create, what we usually recommend is create four to 10 different ads with all different information in them and then set the frequency cap and capping to each ad at like maybe four or three or four for each ad so that the clients are getting a variety of follow-up ads. Um, the next one is to always tie data to results, okay? When you tie your remarketing data and traffic to results, you will immediately get sold on why this works so well for businesses that are spending any time or money on marketing, especially law firms, okay? So always track your results, it should be a given. And then lastly, which I've already hit on the importance of this, is use lookalike audiences, okay? So our company spent already over, it's not even fully through the year, we're what, eight, nine months through the year right now, we've already spent $100,000 on our online marketing, okay? Now, it's probably more than that actually, that's just pure ads, right? Uh, it's probably a lot more than that, but regardless, lookalike audiences are the most valuable thing that you can do or use to repurpose the data collected from your Google Ads or SEO campaigns online, okay? So, like I said earlier in the video, you absolutely need to use lookalike audiences to expand your law firm's reach to get in front of people who have similar traits and are in similar conditions and online behaviors as those who are searching for a lawyer in your geographic area within your practice area. So, if you follow these five steps to set up your retargeting and you listen to all the reasons that I explained in the first half of the video, I'm sure you can find a way to make retargeting work for your law firm. If you found this valuable, please like the video. We're looking to get to 10,000 subscribers, so we'd love if you could share this with other lawyers that could benefit from this uh, or subscribe to our channel so you can stay notified when we release new videos like this on YouTube. But Make sure you set up your retargeting today. No more hesitation on this. Thanks.